Hey, good morning. So in my quest to explore different wood carving knives, I bought this Ramelson pack. Now, this is their carver. They call these chip carving knives, but I call this a regular carving knife. A little heavier than other knives. Uh, it comes with these nice protectors that I absolutely don't like. But you get three knives. You get this one. You get that one, which I would call a chip carving knife. And this one, which I would call a wild knife. There again, a chip carving knife. And you get this three-piece set for about $25. Now, you can find different prices on the internet. Why I bought this, I have really don't have a use for these right now, but in the future, I will. Uh, I, I went to buy this knife because I thought, that's a nice looking knife. The blade it might be a little short, but the handle looks interesting. Turns out it might be a little long for me, but it looks interesting, so I bought it. When I went to price this, I could get this knife for 20 or these three knives for 25 So I've got these two extra that I can use. The protectors are actually kind of nice, but I really don't like them. To me, they're a little imprecise. So I just got these. I wanted to see what they looked like. Mm, that's pretty sharp. Slides nicely through the paper. No catches. Different parts of the blade. Hey, I like this. Now these are supposed to be some really, really nice knives. Now I do notice that the back of this is pretty thick, so it's a stronger knife, but it's almost a complete flat grind. It's a flat grind right up to the very edge. So probably would call it a flat grind, but it might be just a little less than a full flat grind. Kind of like this. Now it doesn't feel as good in my hand as some of my other knives. To me it might be just a little long and a little thick, but that's going to vary by the person. I give my opinion. Everybody's going to have an opinion. And everybody has a favorite carving knife, and everybody has one that's perfect for them. Uh, your mileage will vary. So um, I like the way it feels. What about when I carve? And again, it doesn't fit good in my hand. It feels too big. I thought that blade might be long, but it actually might be the perfect size. Ooh, I like that. So I do a couple carvings, I won't know for sure, but I kind of like it. And I really like flat grind knives. This is almost in grain. And anytime you're going and slicing like this, a thinner knife is better. So this actually has a thick back. So, but with a flat grind, it still cuts just like a thin knife. I have pretty good control. I'd have to get used to the handle. It seems a little thick. That would vary by the size of your hands. I've got relatively large hands, and a large knife feels large in my hands, so hmm, if I had a small hand, I might feel like it was a huge knife. So anyway, I like this. I like the control I have. That knife blade is a nice size. I would say an inch and three-eighths, inch and a half. So what about control? Do I have control? Well, there again, it feels too thick in my hand. Feels good except for Feels a little large through here, and I could come in and reshape this. I'd have to think long and hard of whether I wanted to actually do that. Uh, I don't like modifying the handle. Got a nice finish on that blade. So what about these? Well, I'm not real into carving with these. You can do maybe a little bit more detail with these, but they're really chip carving knives. I don't do a lot of chip carving. I like to carve figures. Now, this is not as sharp. I'm not going to demo that because I don't do a lot of chip carving, so I'm not very good at it. This is a wild looking knife. Double edged. 
Ooh, it's fairly sharp. Okay, it's interesting that this blade isn't sharp down here, but it's sharp up here. They're sharp enough that if you strop them long enough, they'll finish sharpening as sharp as you want it to be, but it might be interesting doing that. You might have to do a double sharpen, sharpen one side and then the other. Sharpen one end and then the other have to play around with that. So I don't see myself using that soon. But like I said, it was only five dollars extra to get two more knives. So I bought it for just the carving knife. I got the chip carver and the wild knife. This is pretty sharp straight out of the box, which is great because the sharper it is when it comes out of the box, the more you can fine tune it with the strop and keep it that way. That's the key, is keep it that way. Feels a little large in my hand, so I'd have to get used to it. The knife that I compare this to is the Murphy knife. They've got the same basic shape. This blade I like a lot better for its shape, but the handle I like better here. I have to get used to that longer blade, but I could do that. I use this most of the time. I'm going to start carving with this. And let, until you do several, several carvings, you can't say if you like a knife or not. You have to use it for a while. Fine-tune your use of it. This one works great for me. Uh, but I really like the shape of this blade and how it works. So I'll probably start using this for a while. Uh, you can make any knife sharp. How long it holds its sharpness determines how good a knife it is. So this one seems to work really well for me. And that flat grind digs in the wood without splitting it better. I'm not saying perfect, but better. And it might take a while to get used to it because I'm used to using a smaller knife. So I think that this is probably going to become my favorite knife after I get used to that larger handle. This feels good in your hand. When a knife feels good in your hand, you have better control, you like using it. It's got that thick back so you can put a lot of pressure on it without worrying about the blade. So Ramelson, supposed to have an excellent name, excellent knives, and they make a whole range of knives for the kitchen, for carving, for woodworking. They have a lot of woodworking tools. Now I'm going to do several, several carvings and I'll come back and do a follow-up and see how the blade holds up. So Ramelson 3-pack chip wood carving knives. And different places call these knives different things. If you buy this separately, they call it a rough-out knife. But if you buy it here, it says chip carving. But I really like this knife. Uh, this is what I went to buy. Okay, so Ramelson, if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.